Well, hello and welcome to another old classic car video. Uh, Dad pops around in his Morris Minor Traveller, so we have a quick walk around that. And then Junior, and I, Junior and I head off down the road and go and uh, have a crawl through the undergrowth of a former wartime airfield to see if we can find the somewhat derelict remains of a Sunbeam Talbot. Uh, the video then rounds out with a quick visit to a friend's place to see some of their classic cars and trucks. Um, some of which are particularly nice, mostly in very original condition. So if you like that kind of thing, please stick around and uh, hopefully you'll find that of interest. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe, click the notifications bell, and uh, yeah, there'll be more videos like this very soon. So thanks for watching. Well, here's trouble. Here's Dad and his little moggy traveller. She behaving? She behaving? Yeah. Jolly good. Looking well. Looking very well. <laughs> Plenty of, plenty of clobber in the boot. It's a good job you got a traveller with all that stuff in the back. <laughs> it's a very sound little car actually. This it's a bit windy, I'm afraid, but yeah, it's a really sound car. I think the wood's original. It's just a perfect little runabout, really. So. Quick shift at the front. Uh, it's a go in this is finest moment. It appears to have a, a bit of badge uh, mischief going on. There we go. Ooh, there was that horror over there. What have you got there? Let's have a look. What's going on here then? Oh, let's see. What's this? Is this a Brock Bank? Yeah. This is your own Brock Bank, is it? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. I like the micro cars. What micro cars? <laughs> so it's like the bloke in the rolls or something. Oh, he's in the rolls, and then there's all these little cars scuttling past. So, what yeah. are the cars? Are they. It's like a Peel Trident, Peel P50, Isetta, and then a Bond mini car. <laughs> oh, that's marvellous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, good work. Absolutely. Yeah. There's the Moggy. Still, I think after the war, this was these were used as a garage. Looking pretty sad now, but if you look closely, there are still some fixtures and fittings which date to the war. And this is quite a large building. It's looking pretty sad now. Yeah, I'm Let's go. I'm gonna go over here and another reinforced concrete structure. We've got a door. What's this? Not sure. In the paint or something. I don't think we'll be going in there. It's a bit, it's a bit grim. Oh, oh, remains of the old lamp up there. Sure what this would have been used for. It could be. In case there was any invasion. Could be. Certainly could be. We've got hinges on here. For the doors, one of which is still here. Just imagine. This is still attached to the building just.
keep going and have a another look around. Hmm, yeah. Is that one of the tin ones? <laughs> Maybe it was in here. The end of this is like the curved end of the building, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like it. plastic one. It's not that old. But. Go and have a look at these ones over here. Hmm. Well, these are a, a little bit more intact. They're not marvellous. And here we have the mortal remains of a Sunbeam Talbot 90. Looking a little sorry for itself. Been here before, and it was looking a little bit more complete than this, but. Uh, Every time we come, it's just looking a little bit worse, but it's still here. <laughs> yeah, I think someone's probably had a few parts off this one, haven't they? Ironically, it's looking out at the road still, probably wishing that it was wishing that it was out there still, but. I don't think there's many more miles ahead for this one. Oh dear. I guess if someone... They've probably got a steering column in there and that's about it. It's been there a long time, isn't it? Like I say, I think it used to be used as a garage after the war. Because this is early 50s. This is probably 52, 53. Nice old doors, at least one of them. It's a long, long time since this has done anything useful. Yeah, I think this has probably had it. <laughs> Still, there might be the old little trinket. Could live again, but not a lot. Not a lot. Okay, I'll come round now. Hopefully, it'll still be there next time we come. Well, more things for sure. I don't think the building's going to be lasting all that much longer. Wow, this is a big one. The original windows. I wonder who the last person was. Use that properly. Nature's certainly reclaiming this one. what it 
was used for originally. <laughs> It won't be long before just the brick parts remain and the, the timber and the metal parts go for good. It's a shame they couldn't have been preserved really but you can't keep everything. Still got some pipe work. The sole sign still here. Inquires. Someone missed an eye out. So the inquirers would have been in here, I guess. Would it be? No. Too too small in there. I mean, I'm guessing this may have been from when it was a garage rather than the war. I might be wrong. Odd little clues here and there of what it was used for originally. This was originally an RAF base. Uh, it used to be sort of medium sized bombers, Whitley's and short Stirlings used to fly out of here. Um, in one part of the war there was fog at another air base and I think something like 37 B-17s landed here. We were parked here for a day or two until the weather improved. <laughs> yes, there used to be a, used to be a dog called Sinbad, who was like the sort of the camp mascot, and uh, he used to catch the bus into town, and then no one really knew where he spent his day, and then he'd catch the last bus home again. So I'm sure Sinbad. Knew these uh, these these parts pretty well. We've still got some of the old fittings here. Some of the old some of the old wiring. Hmm. It's a lot of vodka, isn't it? Obviously back in the 1940s there weren't all these trees, so these have all grown up since and around the remains of the buildings. And gradually it's all being taken over again by nature. Oh, Guessing that was a shower. Is that a shower? I think it must have been. Yeah. <laughs> Just imagine all the people who've used that. <laughs> yeah, probably something dodgy. It's a plastic box, so I don't think we'll be looking in there. No. <laughs> Not quite. Bye bye. You are saying bye bye to the car, right? Yep. <laughs> no, not you. Call in a friend's place, and what have we got here then? A 41 Buick. If anyone wants a very original 41, let me know and I'll put you in touch. This is fantastic. This is really original inside, runs quite nice, straight eight as well. Magnificent. And there's their Chevy 3100 pickup. That isn't for sale. There's a particularly tasty Dodge. We've got a, a 39 to 47 job rated Dodge. I think it's a 46, I think this one. Again, it's really original truck. Such a such a beauty this. Look at the paint on it. 
super little spot lamp on there. Fantastic. Just how you want it. Here, we've got a 1942 Chevy. This is for sale as well, if anyone fancies a project. Okay. So what do you make of it? I love oily rag jobs. Oily rag job? Yeah, I love oily. Yeah, it looks just perfect, this, isn't it? Hopefully no one goes and hot rods it. <laughs> Twin wheel, was it about one and a half or two tonne? Another nice little runner. Quite sound actually. There we go, inside. I think this seat has been retrimmed, but other than that, it's as it should be, as it's original. Looks like the chassis has been beefed up at some time as well. But yeah, if anyone wants a nice American truck project, just let me know and I'll put you in touch. I'm a bit biased, but I think this one's my favourite. Hillman Minx. This one's a bit of a work in progress, but again, it's super original. And gorgeous inside. Look at that. Such a great looking little car, I think. I think there's just a bit of welding to do around the rear wings and then it should be good to go, it starts and runs well look at the registration on it, how appropriate is that? Unfortunately no one here subscribes to the view that the registration number should be sold off so this number is still on it and it's been, always been on it